Hello, DJ Sam here for another smoke machine video. Hey, hey. This one is a Fix Lab Mini 400 Watt Fog Machine, perfect for small venues and uses water based fluid to leave, which leaves no residue. Quick warm up time and 3,300, 3,000, whatever, CU feet per meter output. Pretty cool. So, what I didn't like about this was, and uh, I like to point out, it's all wired in so you can't just disconnect it so it can sometimes get a bit tangled so let's take a look at it oh, in detail and show you what this looks like in you know close up and then we'll give it a smoke and see what it does I have briefly smoked it now it was in a bag um, not in a plastic bag which is good because I got this off a friend and I swapped it for the LED one thinking it would be better uh, I'm not sure if it's better. Um, it already had few, uh, fluid actually in it, free fluid in it. It had like a sealed cap and it had leaked. So I wouldn't be uh, rolling, uh, you know, throwing these around because uh, they will leak. So, uh, but, but we'll do that test. Uh, we'll see how it, if it leaks and how bad it leaks. Anyway, so we'll put it upside down. Let's check that. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. So this is a smoke machine closer so you've got the fix lab and it says 400 watt fog machine and on the back you've got your fluid level your 3.15 amp you've got your on then you're off then on your remotes which I don't like this I don't know if anyone does you've got your switch on and off now what we're going to do is I want to find out that when that sort of warms up then goes on red when that's smoking away and then it gets to the point where it needs to warm up again. I want to know if that will, because uh, it's switched on, whether it will continue after it's warmed up again. And then you've just got your, you know, your standard sort of plug like that. Now let's tip it upside down and see whether it'll leak. Leak test. That's pretty good because my AD day one, if I tip that upside down, it'll leak. So the fact that something cheap. Uh, it doesn't leak. That's pretty impressive, and you can see it's quite hard to stuff it in and out. So it, it's got a good. So yeah, you can um, have no problem with that. So yeah, so let's plug that in, and uh, let's see how long it takes to warm up. And I'll start the obviously the recording once we've plugged it in, and the the time will tell me when the video is recorded. Right, we're on. Took me a second to turn it on. But we're on. I think that's switched on. Right, switched off. I'm gonna wait for that light to come on, and that'll um, tell me it's ready. So yeah, it's really good for small venues. I'm. Might use it for DJing. I just don't like the fact that it's all wired in together. You know, you can't use a longer lead. You can't have it wireless. There's loads of things that I'm complaining about, but for the price, I think my mate said they're about because we got it from like a high, um, Argos clearance sale in Newcastle, and I think it said they're about ten pounds each. So I swapped a twenty-five quid spoke machine. For a, a 10 quid one, but obviously they don't cost 10 quid, they're about 20, 25 quid. So it's about the same price to what I paid. I'm not really that you know bothered that I've gotten rid of a wireless one for that, but this one will be well, supposed to be better. So I may use it for the next gig, I don't know, because I like my 1300 water, it just smokes the place in seconds. Uh, I love it. So yeah, we're on to 1 minute 34, and uh, yeah, <laughs> some of them do take a while, I'll admit, um, and some of them they don't take that long, so yeah, it's on now, so that took just under 2 minutes, that's brilliant. 
So yeah, my mate's got a Sherman Hurricane and I love him. Because it just goes like... So it's like this. And that was a... So yeah, anyways. Stop sneezing. Okay, let's see whether this will continue. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow, that is like going all the way to the roof. I'm so glad I've got this shed because I can't uh, set any fire alarms off. Wow, that's smoking for about a minute. Whoa. That's like a minute. It does a whole minute of smoke. Now I want to know when this comes on again whether it'll just go and charge and go forward again. That's where I want to know. Because if so, that's pretty cool. But then again, you don't want to smoke the venue too much. You know what I mean? You don't want to be uh, smoking it far too much. So yeah, we'll see um, what happens. Let's see what it smells like. Um, it just smells like cheap smoke fluid. It, there's nothing here. Oh my god, it is literally like, way. <laughs> I like it, it's like a cloud of smoke on the ceiling, it's hilarious. Yeah, I'm going to knock that off now, just because we know that's confirmed, and I don't want to smoke it too much. But, um, just see the aftermath. <laughs> oh my god, it's like dangling down. From here, it's like, oh god. <laughs> it's like smoking though, it's like a different kind of smoke. Like, it's, it's, I don't know, it's like, oh, look at that. It's like an O-ring, that's awesome. I don't know whether it'll do that again. It was like an O-ring, like, poof. Wow. Now... Yes, I do smell so. Oh my god! No way, it smells like matches. Oh, I love the smell of matches. You know when you light it, you strike a match. It's got a smell of a match. Let's just touch that. Is it hot? No, it's cold. I touched one and it was red hot and I burnt my finger. I was like, ah! So yeah, let's lay it on the floor if we can and we'll see what it's like. Okay, 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 okay. So the smoke is actually going all the way to the end of the shed. That's hilariously good. Woo! It smells so good too. I'm actually really impressed with it. For the, the fact that it's a, a cheap smoke machine, I like it. I like the fact that it's a switch actually, because then you don't have to hold it. You can just switch it and leave it going. Um, but yeah, if I plug a power can in, You'll, uh, you'll see the smoke coming off. That's a thousand watts. Um, yeah, let's see that in action. You'll see a nice beam. So here it is. It's 1,000 watts. Let's see what the damage is going to be. Wow. Best moving from the bulls because they get quite hot. I mean, just look at the smoke off that. That's a 1,000 watt bulb. That is extremely warm. It's just so hot. I even turn it on sometimes to, um, so I can like, look at that, I can tell I can have a bit of uh, warmth, it's like really warm, oh you could stand here and you could get so warm, I might knock every camera this, but Christ it's that bright, um, just to confirm, it's a punch light, okay, uh, and um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, yeah 1000 watt max, so this is like, oh, it's the boil, this, like, it burns. Oh, it burns. I best take it off the carpet because it'll burn the plastic on the thing. It gets that hot. That'll get really hot. Yikes, that's hot. And sometimes it gets so hot that the paint just come off. So, yeah, you can see. Look, the paint has stripped off because it's that hot. Not good. So that just gets used for testing for testing purposes you know like if I make videos and things like that 
um, it's really good and handy for that so yeah I love this smoke machine I think it's really good uh, as long as it doesn't get tangled up um, and a matter of fact is the, the fact that it's wired in yes that's something I don't like but come to think about it is you don't have to find a cable for it you just plug it in and off you go you know I think for you know a small venue that's perfect what I normally do is <coughs> I wouldn't face it towards the crowd I'd face it behind me then the smoke would then hit the ceiling um, or hit the back but you don't really want to do it indoors anyways because you'll end up smoking the venue uh, I need to check the fire alarms when I do the venue see what the crack is with that so I forgot to outro this video um, so yeah that was the um, fixed lab smoke machine 400 watts I think for a starting point that's really good and especially for small venues if you don't want something huge and big I think that's ideal uh, just to plonk in and plug in at least you don't have to search for the wires or the wires to plug it in it's all there so you can't lose it you know that's one bonus I shall say but anyways I'm going to end this video here cheers for watching see you guys soon cheers bye bye